To start, let's start with the tab key. Now, every time you press it, it jumps to a different section of the screen. Like it's down here in the bottom left-hand corner of the taskbar. Now it's over here on the right side of the taskbar. And once you get into a section with a lot of different items, then you can use the arrow keys to move about between those items. But you'll eventually find you're going to be trapped to that section of the screen. And the only way to get out of that is by pressing the tab key again. Now, you've probably noticed I've been going in one direction here. But if you ever want to reverse the order you're selecting these items in, Press the shift and tab key to go back the way you came. But if you ever get tired of all this tab and just press the windows key and D to jump straight to the desktop. And to get back to the taskbar, windows key and T. But let's get back to the desktop because this is where you're going to be most of the time. Now you can of course use the arrow keys to move about here and select whatever you want. But there's a better way to get to the file that you want to get to. And that's by just typing its name. For instance, if I want to get to the recycle bin, just type R and I'm already at the recycle bin. But if I wanted to get to the Pi folder, I'd have to press P twice because I already have another folder there beginning with P, which is phone. So I press it again and then I'm at the Pi folder. And if I press it again, I'll go to the next folder beginning with P, which is problem pop up. Now, I get this doesn't look very efficient because what I'm saying is, hey, if you have a bunch of files that start with the same letter, you just have to keep pressing the first letter over and over again until you get to the folder you want. But that's not the case because the more precisely you spell your file name, the quicker you'll get there. For instance, to get to new 1, I just press N, I press N again, I get to new 2. But if I want to get to new 11, I just type it out, N-E-W space 11. Bang, see that? Right up to new 11. To open a folder, just press enter. And you can see, as soon as it opens, this window appears. And you can use the tab key to cycle through all the options here, but this isn't the best way to do this. All you want to do is press the Alt key. And that brings up these other letters around the different sections of the screen. So if you want to get to them, you just press that letter. For instance, press the H key to open up this home screen. And you can see you have a bunch more letters to all the other different options. For instance, you can do something like press N to create a new folder. I might call this whatever. And if you're done with it, you can get rid of it by pressing the Alt key. Press H to go into your home options. Press D to give you a range of delete options. Select what you want and get out of here, son. You're done. <laughs> Uh, and uh, if you've had too much excitement with the folder, you can always just close it by pressing Alt and F4. But I want to show you how to cycle between Windows. So I'm going to reopen my Pi folder using my shortcuts. And I'm going to open up another version of Windows Explorer using the Windows key and E key. Now, because Windows Explorer was the last thing I opened, it's the main thing I can control by using my tab key and so forth. But if I want to bring the Pi folder back into focus, I can just press the Alt and the tab key. When you have multiple windows open, you can see you're stepping one space to the right every time. But if you want to reverse the direction, press Alt, Shift and Tab to go to the left. And if you don't like to position these windows are in, you can move them about with your keyboard as well. Press the Windows key and the right arrow key to move it off to the right. Now, release the Windows key and you'll get an option to decide what to do with the rest of the windows. For instance, if you wanted that, uh, that window to lay alongside the left of the Pi folder, you just press Enter and it'll have them that kind of split screen scenario. Now I can do the same thing to the file explorer because that's what I'm selecting right now. For instance I could bring that up if I go windows key and up and I'll get an option of whatever I can do with OBS which in this case I don't want to do anything. So I'm just going to press escape key so I can leave this bit of a gap here. If you have too many windows open and you want to minimize them press windows key and N. Now you can change the size of something by pressing alt and space and then pressing S. And then what you get is a cursor. Now this cursor's next option is to choose which side do you want to start dragging the size. So press down and we can start changing this thing, make it go up and down or whatever. Press enter when you're happy with the shape. Now let's do the same thing again. All space, S, and this time we'll go off to the left. And what we can do then is we can start dragging this in and out from the left like this. Press all space and M to move it. And you can see you have the same thing again except you can move it to the right, move it back to the left. You have a lot of control here, but notice how blocky the movement is. If you want to slow that down and make it kind of smoother, hold the control button and you get this nice little drag here. So you get that real precision movement. So I have a bunch of files here that I can select or highlight or do whatever. But what I want to do is make a copy of index. So I'm going to control C that and then paste it by doing control V. You can select everything from your folder here by pressing control and A. And you can do much the same for control C, control V and look, you've just made a mess. So if you want to tidy it up, just press Control z to undo what you just did. That's kind of handy. And if you're ever not happy with what you just undid, press Control y to redo it. If you hold on the Shift key and start using the arrows, you can select things one at a time as you want to go. And if you ever want to unselect them, you just go in the opposite direction, which is up. 
What I'm going to do is I'm going to select a bunch of stuff here that I've made and I'm just going to press delete to get rid of it. You can also delete things by using Control and D. To move a file, press Control and X to cut it, press Control and V to paste it somewhere and then go back and you can see the original is no longer there. But I don't want to do this so I'm going to press Control and Z to undo that. To right click press shift and F10. This brings up the right click context menu. Now you can use your arrow keys to select whatever option you want or you can just skip to an option by pressing the underlying letter. For instance if I wanted to rename this file I'll just press the M key and that will bring up the rename option. But if you ever don't want to follow through on something always remember you can press the escape key to get rid of it. Now to open a program that's not in your desktop just press the windows key and just start typing. For instance to open chrome I'll just type ch or Look at that, I didn't even have to finish typing it, it already knew. Press enter to open the program. Now at some stage you're going to want to know how to kill a program's process. So first I'm going to minimize all this and then I'm going to press the Windows key and X key. And what this does is opens up the quick access menu. Press T to go into your task manager, press G because you want Google Chrome, press shift and F10 for right click and E to end that task. And look at that, we'll check it out, Chrome is dead. You can control your projection settings by pressing Windows key and P. You can extend, you can duplicate, or you can press Windows key and R to open up your run menu. And of course, you can press Windows key and W to bring up your Windows Inc. workspace, the most crucial part of your operating system. You can also press Windows key and L to lock your computer. Now, I can't actually do that here because I don't know how OBS is going to react to that, uh, but you can test it out yourself. Unless you don't know the password to your computer, then don't do it. Actually, if you don't know the password to this laptop, get off it, it's not yours. You can change the orientation of your screen by pressing Control alt and a direction button. For instance, if you wanted to flip your screen upside down, press Control alt and down. If you want to get it back the other way, press Control alt and up. This is actually really good if you want to play a practical joke on somebody, because you can really ruin their day with this, because not too many people know about this shortcut, at least not that I'm aware of. Thanks for watching my video, I hope you liked it, found it entertaining, and learned something new. If you like it, like and subscribe, and uh, see you next time. Good luck.